Disappointed! Let me tell you a story. You see, yesterday, last night, I had to be at work at 5.15. We're supposed to uh, usually, and we got off at around like 10.30. We kind of got off early, right? Now, throughout the entire week, I heard that the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight, or I guess Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight, was going to go down. And I have been looking forward to this. Yes, I think it was uh, ridiculous for Jake Paul to challenge Mike Tyson, who is now 58 years old, to a boxing fight. However... After witnessing Mike Tyson take it, take on the challenge, and then go into training. And I mean, like you, I'm pretty sure all of you saw all the videos of this man training, training. Even his trainer was scared of him. They were scared that he was going to wipe him out. This man went from being like you know he had obviously gained a few pounds he had retired he basically had retired from boxing and yet this man went on a intense training exercise to the point where he was back in what looked like physical shape okay and i thought i thought he was going to kill Jake Paul. I thought he was going to murder him. Alright. So, <laughs> I'm at work. <clears throat> I'm at work. I'm hearing about all the fights. I'm, I'm going back and forth on breaks, checking where the fights were, you know, the scheduled fights were on Netflix, right? Like, where we were at. You know, uh, I completely missed the first fight. Uh, I saw bits and pieces of the second fight. And I also caught the third fight, the women's welterweight uh, championship, I believe, fight between uh, Taylor and Serrano. And I saw how Serrano got completely and utterly obliterated by the freaking judges, even though technically she should have won. I don't know why they said that Taylor won. I mean, it looked like it was all Serrano. But, regardless, I don't care. It, w it was a good fight. So, I get off work at 10.30. <laughs> I get home, okay? I, 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 I decided not to go to a friend's house because I didn't expect to be off as early as I was. However, I get home. I get in, in my bed. I have a... Uh, zero sugar Baja Blast Mountain Dew set aside for me. I have some double stuffed Oreos. I got my vape all charged and and filled and all that stuff. I'm ready for a good fight. Okay, I didn't have any beer, so I couldn't bring any beer. So I'm expecting a good fight. I'm expecting to see Iron Mike Tyson. Bash Jake Paul's brains in or his body in. I don't care. I want to see Jake Paul look bloody and bruised and get his just desserts. Okay, I want it justice. All right. And the first two rounds, the first two rounds were amazing. Okay, well, hold on. I, I wouldn't say amazing, but the first two rounds, it looked like Iron Mike Tyson was slowly coming out. He was, he, he was about, he, that dog was still in him, right? And of course, I had to keep dealing with Netflix's <laughs> shitty, spotty, oh God, it was, ugh. it was infuriating, constantly having the buffer every once in a while constantly being like you know like that constantly it's just ridiculous right and then third round came in okay <laughs> after another spotty buffering situation and i usually blame 
issues with my like streams and all that stuff and my Wi-Fi. No, my Wi-Fi was working perfectly throughout this entire watch. Okay. And all of a sudden third round starts and you know, I thought Mike was gonna do something and then it somehow became all Jake Paul for the next six rounds. And somehow, for some odd reason, I don't know why this was the case, but my Netflix wasn't having issues throughout those six rounds of just utter boredom, okay? Granted, it was two minute fights, uh, two minute rounds, eight round total and i understood why they do it did it i mean you know mike had a had some medical issues um throughout the year at one point in the year when he was looking pretty good and we were getting ready for this fight so i can understand that but the next six rounds of this particular fight just became utter dog shit boredom okay i don't understand what's what went down like look when mike came down the ramp he looked like a man on a mission he walked his way to the to the ring and he looked and he had the face of seriousness like a man on a mission like a beast looking for its prey okay he wasn't smiling he was just mean mugging the time meanwhile jake paul and of course logan paul were riding on the back of the truck on a custom truck down the ramp halfway down the ramp it was uh, like the second i saw logan paul i'm sitting there thinking in my head Okay, where's the prime and lunchly advertisement? <laughs> oh. oh, so for for eight rounds, two rounds, it seemed like there there might be some there might be some play, but then six rounds of fight was just the most boring boring fight ever like Mike didn't do anything Logan I mean Jake was just constantly running around acting goofy and he somehow won those six rounds and, I mean, okay I, I, I don't want to say somehow it was obviously that he won those six rounds and then at the end of the match the last 10 seconds of the match all of a sudden this man just does this whole look <laughs> I'm not gonna fight anymore. Neither one of them knocked each other out. Nobody fell down. <sighs> this fight was so disappointing. I mean, disappoint. Oh, so disappointing. <laughs> and the fight was disappointing. And of course jake won and all that stuff and they said their thing i i didn't even finish the whole thing because that's when the buffering started again and i like look look man <laughs> obviously that fight was rigged it was rigged oh it was rigged like if anything like <laughs> if anything this is how i see it okay Jake was supposed to get four, 40 million uh, uh, and Mike was supposed to get 20 million from this fight just from the fight alone okay in my honest opinion I think that 40 million for Jake was just so that he can give half to Logan to help fund all the different like uh, lawsuits he's got going on I mean one of which he should just go ahead and just end it he was the one who made the lawsuit you know which lawsuit i'm talking about the coffee's the lawsuit i mean come on that's just stupid that that was a stupid lawsuit it's a it's it's a scare tactic and but anyways 
no this fight was so infuriating it, it, it I, like i no longer want to watch boxing ever again because of this fight like look i've seen three big boxing fights my entire life i, I, I like two pay-per-views and now this netflix one okay first and foremost let me let me just say this netflix live events is not your forte okay y'all need to figure out y'all need to do something y'all need to wait until y'all figure it out how to like make sure that regardless of however many people are watching this event that you can keep the stream going perfectly throughout the event no more buffering oh that's one two like i said three fights i've seen okay there was the mayweather versus pacquiao the uh ice and fury versus uh uh man i i just looked this up <laughs> i just looked this up earlier uh ice and fury versus uh deontay wilder okay the second fight their second fight okay and then now this one <laughs> look out of all three of those fights the only one that's that that gave me like life was the fury versus wilder fight okay <laughs> fury versus wilder too that was the only one that gave me any kind of like life okay it was beautiful it was a, a fight worth watching okay i enjoyed every bit of it meanwhile mayweather versus pacquiao and jake paul versus mike tyson that was that was both of them were by far the most lamest fights i've ever seen it was weak sauce it was but look here's the thing here's the thing about the pacquiao versus mayweather fight here's the thing about the mayweather versus pacquiao fight at least i was able to like enjoy it with a a, a good amount of people some good friends have some good food drink some decent some really good beer you know some really good drinks and all that stuff while checking this whole fight out while checking that fight out it was lame even though the fight was lame i had fun i enjoyed myself this fight i could have gone to a friend's house after i got off work but you know i just got off work i you know we we're cleaning units i'm look i feel disgusting i feel dirty and all that stuff i got home took a shower got in bed and was ready for this fight and oh uh, to say i saw the lamest fight of all in the comfort of my room while i cozied up in my room so freaking disappointed the fight was obviously rigged you know I, i'm starting to realize that like while mike tyson was coming down that thing it wasn't the, the he didn't have the look of a man it wasn't the look of a of a beast looking for its prey no 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 it was the look of a man who realized he just sold out and i'm not afraid to do that like you know mike tyson if if me and you run into each other on the street like you feel free if you see this video to just go ahead and knock me out but if you if, if i'm wrong you can feel free to knock me out if i'm right just look at me and be like i'm sorry brother anyways but i i needed this okay with logan paul being the douchebag that he is jake paul always being a douchebag i mean i remember years and years and years ago when uh there was something going there was something going on in a different country and jake paul just happened to be out there and he was sitting there trying to avoid uh being pulled away from police by saying that oh i'm an influencer and all that stuff like boy 
but I, I I needed this win. I needed to see Mike Tyson at least hit Jake Paul with enough force to like really bust his gut. I mean, like literally knock this boy down. But neither one of them knocked each other out. That whole little thing that Jake Paul did in the last ten seconds of the eighth round was totally ridiculous. I, I, I never want to see boxing again. I mean, don't get me wrong. The women's fight was actually pretty decent. I might still check out the women's division, but at the end of the day, it was like, no, <laughs> no, I'm not doing these main events anymore. Like you can, you, you can, <laughs> if there's a pe if there's a pay-per-view fight i'm not buying it okay if netflix tries to like market another like fight on their platform i ain't watching it i'm sorry it's not it's not for me no more it's no longer like boxing is no longer the sport i used to like it used to be okay I feel like there are some people who box and actually go out there and actually do their their shit okay but now it's no longer that it's about who has the most money and who can actually pay off the other person that's how I feel at this point like I said uh, Fury versus Wilder fight the Fury versus Wilder fight was actually the last good boxing match I've ever seen Besides the the normal circuit and all that stuff, I'm but no more main main events. I'm sorry, nobody's gonna earn my main event. It, nobody's gonna earn my money from uh, doing a main event anymore. If I see a boxing match, I see a boxing match. What you freaking do? Oh, good lord! I've never been so I'm so disappointed in my life. Oh, good lord. And I'm pretty sure all of you feel that same way. That was... That wasn't... Like, the real main event was a women's fight. That third fight. That was the real main event. Like, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh, god. The only thing... The only saving grace for the last half of this year is gonna be Sonic the Hedgehog 3... With Keanu Reeves as Knuckles. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. And hopefully it's going to be just as good as I imagine it. Then I could sit there and say that 2024 has been redeemed in my eyes. That's it. That's it. But that's it for me today. That's that's the end of this video. I'm not going to spread it any longer. You guys have a good day and I'll see you later. Bye.